good morning everyone uh, today we're going to do some more silage uh, we just got machines ready uh, we've got the rake ready little Andrew's been getting his uh, his wrapper ready everything's greased up ready to go farmers sorted the baler out just blown it off washed it off yeah quite an interesting one we're uh, we're going quite quite close to the town today so uh, uh, hopefully I can get the drone up and uh, see what's going on. It means driving into the town, so we all know what that means. So a, a fun drive ahead, but it's not far for us. 20 minute drive into town. Keithy's going top in. Peter's doing some maintenance work and some other jobs. And yeah, we're uh, this is going to be a sort of a special, special video maybe for in the winter sort of thing. Uh, right, yeah. So, right, so we're uh, we're down in the town. Behind us, you can see uh, we're right in the centre of Bista. Uh, we've done the first field, and out here it is crazy rough. So we're literally tiggling along. We're just starting the second field. We're just going to adjust the width. So there, we're going to rev up to about 4.30 on the RPMs. Ooh. Farmer's just had his first bung up of the day. He's done how many bales? Three bales and he's bunged it up already. We are creeping along around this field. It is pretty rough to say the least. Uh, if you don't let the uh, wheels on the, uh, on the rake, on the wings of the rake do their job it will just set the rattle clutches off and you get a horrible noise and duck, 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 duck. that's yeah <laughs> I sound like a madman doing that uh, you might hear it go off because it makes a hell of a racket when it does it does seem to be a bit smoother this side that side is extremely extremely rough this isn't one of our own field basically uh, another farmer's uh, asked us if we want to silage it we think grass is going to be short so we were straight on that, we'll, uh, we'll do that, no problem. Young Andrew's on the wrapper, farmer's on the baler. Pete and Keith are coming up at lunchtime with trailers and a teleporter to start picking bales up. And I'm hoping to get some good drone footage. I do believe this plot of land is going for building. So this will probably be the only time you see this on camera. And then in a couple of years time, it'll be covered in buildings. They're doing a lot of buildings work around uh, Bista. They're making it bigger and bigger by the year. Oh, yeah. A bit rough there. But I've noticed in this field there's rubbish everywhere. And the last thing you want in your silage is plastic and rubbish. Cows don't want to be eating that. So, uh, but that's what happens when you get near the town, isn't it? People just well, you get that in the country as well now, I suppose. They just dump it in our gateways for us. Aren't they nice? Hoping to get some drone footage today. I've got to check the area because we do have a gliding company not too far from here. And they have an active runway there. Uh, we also have uh, Western on the Green runway as well. That I have to look and make sure we're not too close to there as well. Just going to redo that because that was rubbish. Oh, wow. Do it right, don't we? Not the greatest of uh, grass, but it'll definitely feed the cows. So, wouldn't we? Wouldn't really cut. I don't know if we cut this for grass uh, for hay. We're just gonna ring the others and see what their guesses are. We're doing our ups and downs now. Uh, I've already guessed mine. I think I said 250. I've already forgotten. We'll see what little Andrew says. Let's give him a call. Why? Just have a guess. 
Yeah, there's a weird little uh, little entrance for that in there. Yeah. I'm a professional, so yes, I have. Okay. What are you guessing then? What? What are you gonna guess? You must guess. You must guess. Two hundred and thirty. That is a weak guess, my friend. And it's very close to my guess of 250, so we will see. We will see who is right and who is wrong. I'm going to ring the farmer and see what his take on it is. What are you guessing then first? Uh, I've done 250, so you can't say that. Uh, yeah, I reckon, yeah. 270 from the farmer. All right, no worries. We will see. We will see. All right, cool. I'll catch you in a minute. See ya. Right. So, uh, farmer's guess 270, Andrew's guess 230. We will see what there is. A uh, bit of a palaver down at this site. There are some people who want to get in here. Uh, no guesses for who they might be. <laughs> they, uh, apparently, they have a lot of uh, a lot of trouble with people trying to get on here and set up a uh, campsite. Uh, so we've had to actually lock ourselves in, which is a a bit different. But uh, but we uh, farmer said we'd literally been here two minutes, and there was people at the gate having a look and trying to find the code off the gate. So uh, we got a locker. <laughs> We've got to keep ourselves locked in and there's a security guy uh, sat on the roundabout as well. Amazing really. But, uh, it won't affect us in any way. But they don't want anybody on here, which is rightly so, it's private land. But uh, yeah, we're going to stop and have dinner in a minute.
on the gate. What a nice man. Oh, it's Keith. <laughs> room. I've got to go round him. Don't worry, I will manage. Just try not to take out that trailer, Matthew. Right, now we're going to have a race. 160 horsepower versus 200 horsepower. Who will win? We shall see. Got more power, got more weight. Weight is not your friend. Let's see if I can get him to race her. That might be quite funny. I'll rev it. going to tuck these tail ends in. This feels way tackier than the first ones we had. That first little wrap we put on did not feel tacky like that. This feels a lot better. Oh, I don't know what the reason that would be. Maybe because of the cold, I don't know. It's a bit warmer today, maybe that's the reason. Just slot them in. That way, when you're going down the road, you don't look like a madman. And stops the police stopping you as well. They see all that flailing down the road, you will get stopped. But pretty simple, just tuck it in itself. Stops any unwanted attention. Like that. There's another one. Right, you get the point. That is going to be it. That's the end of the video. I'm just going to unload these last few bales. What will happen now is uh, we'll get into hay season soon. If we get caught out with the weather, we can always add to the stack. So uh, it's always good to give yourself a little bit of leeway in case you do get caught by the weather, get any bad hay. You can always wrap it up as silage. Boom, feed it the cows, that'll do. There's a fair few there now, so we must be getting on for 900, 1,000, so. Uh, farmer likes to have too much rather than too little. There's a few holes. I've got a patch up here, Keithy's fault. Keithy's fault. I've got a patch of these holes here. Don't know whose fault that was, probably mine. Uh, that's just the, uh, fortunately that's just uh, the trouble you get moving them off the field and then onto the stack. You're gonna snag a few. Right, anyway, thanks for watching. Nice one. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.